standard 10 science physics lessons 1 2 3 so this is the study materials for the slow learners and average students lesson 1 loss of motion question number 1 important question define inertia give its classification the inherent property of your body to resist any change in its state of rest or of the uniform motion unless it is influenced upon by an external unbalanced force is known as inertia. There are three types, inertia of rest, inertia of motion and inertia of direction. Question number two, classify the types of force based on their application. Like parallel force, unlike parallel force. Question number three, important, differentiate mass and weight, mass, fundamental quantity, weight, derived quantity, and mass, its unit is kilogram, and weight, its unit is newton. Fourth one, define moment of couple. Moment of couple is equal to force into perpendicular distance. Fifth one, state the principle of moments. The algebraic sum of the moments in the clockwise direction is equal to the algebraic sum of the moments in the anti-clockwise direction. Question number six, important question, state Newton's second law. The force acting on a body is directly proportional to the rate of change of linear momentum of a body. Seventh one, while catching a cricket ball, the fielder lowers his hands backwards. Why? Longer interval of time resulting in lesser impulse on his hand. Question number eight, important question. How does an astronaut float in a space shuttle? Since space station and astronaut have equal acceleration, they are under free fall condition and in the state of weightlessness and seem floating. Then question number nine, important state the Newton's law of motion. First law, every body continues to be in its state of rest or in the uniform motion along a straight line unless it is acted upon by some external force. Second law, the force acting on a body is directly proportional to the rate of change of linear momentum. Third law, for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. Question number 10. Describe the rocket propulsion. Important question. Detailed question. So, A. Propulsion of rockets are based on the law of conservation of linear momentum and Newton's third law of motion. B. Rockets are filled with a fuel. C. The mass of the rocket decreases with altitude. D. According to the law of conservation of linear momentum, decrease in mass increases the velocity. Question number 11. Important one. Uh, detailed question. State and prove the law of conservation of linear momentum. Statement is, there is no change in the linear momentum of a system of bodies as long as no net external force acts on them. And see the diagram. Proof, action force is equal to reaction force. Fa is equal to minus Fb. Then M1 of V1 minus U1 by T is equal to minus M2 of V2 minus U2 divided by T. Then M1 V1 plus M2 V2 is equal to M1 V1 plus M2, sorry, M1 U1 plus M2 U2. Hence proved. And lesson, lesson 2, optics. First one, what is refractive index? The ratio of speed of light in vacuum to the speed of light in a medium is Refract index of the medium. Question number two important states Snell's law. The ratio of the sine of the angle of incidence to sine of the angle of refraction is equal to the ratio of refractive indices of the two media. And question number three differentiate convex lens and concave lens. Convex lens first point, converging lens, concave lens, diverging lens. Convex lens produces real images. Concave lens produces virtual images. And fourth one important question. Why does the sky appears blue in color? The blue color with the shorter focal length scatters to a greater extent causes the sky to appear in blue color. 
Question number 5. Important. Why are traffic signals red in color? As the red light has highest wavelength, it scatters least and travels a longer distance. Sixth one important question state Rayleigh's law of scattering. The amount of scattering of light is inversely proportional to the fourth power of its wavelength. S is equal to 1 by lambda raised to 4. And seventh one define dispersion of light. When a beam of white light is refracted through any transparent media, it splits into its component color. This is called dispersion of light. Question number 8. What are the causes of myopia? Lengthening of eyeball and shortening of focal length increases the distance between eye lens and retina. Question number 9. Important detailed question. Differentiate myopia and hypermetrophia. Myopia, short sightedness, lengthening of eyeball, distant object cannot be seen, and 4. Nearby objects can be seen, 5. Can be corrected using concave lens. Hypermetrophia, long sightedness, shortening of eyeball, distant object can be seen, nearby objects cannot be seen, can be corrected using convex lens. And question number 10, important detailed question, list any 5 properties of light. 1. Light is a form of energy. 2. Travels along a straight line. 3. Speed of light in vacuum or air is C is equal to 3 into 10 power 8 meter per second. 4. Lowest wavelength is violet. Highest wavelength is red. And fifth one does not need any material medium for its propagation. And lesson 3. Thermal physics. Question number 1. Define one calorie. One calorie is defined as the amount of heat energy required to raise the temperature of 1 gram of water through 1 degree Celsius. And question number 2. State Boyle's law. Important question. At a constant temperature, the volume of a fixed mass of gas is inversely proportional to its pressure. P is directly proportional to 1 by V. Otherwise, P is inversely proportional to V. And third one. Important question. State Charles' law or law of volume. At a constant pressure, the volume of a gas is directly proportional to the temperature of the gas. So, V is directly proportional to T. Fourth one, state Avogadro's law. At a constant pressure and temperature, the volume of a gas is directly proportional to number of atoms or molecules present in it. Fifth one, Detailed question, important question, derive the ideal gas equation. According to Boyle's law, PV is equal to constant. According to Charles' law, V by T is equal to constant. According to Avogadro's law, V by N is equal to constant. Then N is equal to mu N A. So, PV divided by mu N A T equal to constant. From this we can write PV is equal to RT. So, study well. All the best. Thank you.